So Lita's 2001 and her fiance are currently in the Maldives and she's posting the content on her Instagram after being MIA for quite a while now. So she's back on Instagram and she does this thing where she temporarily um, just disappears and then returns. So she posted this picture and she captioned it best caption wins 10,000 rands which means she's giving away 10,000 rands to somebody or anybody that's going to write the best caption so people commented and uh, said whatever they wanted to say um and then she chose this caption by this girl right here her name is Lichokonolo Khanyaho. She captioned Tropical State of Mind with my forever partner. And she won herself the 10,000 rands. She also put a screenshot on her stories. And Beverly, who is Litas 2001, also put the same screenshot of the transfer of 10,000 rands to Lichokonolo's um, Instagram. Um, I mean, to Lichokonolo's um, um the bank account yeah so my question now is why the sudden giveaway of cash and that's a big amount Ten thousand rand is a lot of money guys to be giving away just because somebody wrote a caption on their stories to me it doesn't make sense and uh, yeah th this caption on its own doesn't scream winning caption like tropical state of mind with my forever partner that's it that's the best that they could do honestly do do you really believe guys i haven't gone through the profile to see all the other captions but looking at this one right here it just doesn't scream winning caption it doesn't scream best it doesn't scream best kept caption and anyway um that's just besides the point why the sudden giveaway of cash you do remember that um beverly's Beverly is Litter's 2001, guys, for those who don't know. That's her real name. So Beverly's fiancé is a forex trader. He resides in Cape Town, South Africa, and he is Nigerian. So you do know that these forex traders, whether they're Nigerian, Zimbabwean, South African, they just always um, have this stigma of scamming people. I remember at some point um, mid this year around winter, he even deactivated his Instagram account because it was alleged that he's wanted by police because he's scamming people. And now Beverly comes back and she's giving away cash. Hmm? What's that about? what is that about like ten thousand rands just for nothing just for typing on your phone and and sending that's that's it you get ten thousand rands what are they going to do with little honoros um account number guys i'm just saying i'm just asking like what's going on here ten thousand rands is really a lot of money to just be giving away just in gee because somebody wrote a caption and it's not even the best caption according to me but anyway it does seem that um, Le um beverly and her fiance are still in the maldives because she posted this picture and it's it's dated the 13th of september to 2024 which is which is a current date so it does seem that they are still in the Maldives. when she returned from um social media on social media i thought that she had already returned from the maldives but it does seem she's still there um yeah but this is very to me this is just like people must just be careful guys be careful who you give your banking details to because you never know i remember at some point i was doing my research and i did call the bank to find out if anybody can you know try to use your account number for fraudulent activities because i had seen a lot of people giving away their account numbers on social media and p business owners like oh doromongi you know more long um you know the people who always write that they'll post your stories for 24 hours and you they'll charge you a certain amount they always put their banking details on social media so i just wanted to find out from the bank if anything can be done fraudulently using your banking details and the bank said no it's only if they have your cvv number from your bank account um card but hey you never know guys you never know